Good morning. It's Christmas Eve. What a special time. Amazing day. Ginger is in Mississippi. I'm in Alabama, home alone, left to my own devices, as it has been every year for many, many years. The last couple of years, Ginger has come home Christmas Day, so I'll see her tomorrow about 4 o'clock, I suppose, right before dark. But don't feel sorry for Davis. <laughs> I love this quiet time. We moved to Alabama from South Carolina so we could be closer to Mississippi. So Ginger can go home and see her extended family there. And I can stay here, which is where I love to be. All by myself with my toys and my cats. <laughs> but especially my toys. You may think that I have too many instruments, too much, uh, too many ukuleles. But in fact, the instruments and ukuleles come and go in my life. I really don't spend anything on these because I usually sell them at some point for more than what I paid for them. That is just the way it has been. So the fact that I have these instruments, I'm not really a glutton. I'm just having fun. Let me show you what I got in the mail yesterday. I was worried about this. It came in a box badly damaged. I got to show you this box. Now, I've seen some bad looking ukulele boxes, but this is really bad. And the damage went through the entire box. And this came in an Amazon box that was perfectly okay. So they shipped this box. Amazon shipped this ukulele from their warehouse in this box. So it looks to me like people at the Amazon warehouse are using a forklift to push around their ukuleles. And then they go ahead and pack it up and send it off. Thank goodness the ukulele comes with a very nice padded gig bag and you can see <laughs> the forklift actually went right into here. And if you didn't have this really good padding, that beautiful ukulele would have been destroyed. <laughs> so this is my ukulele of the year in the soprano size. You can also get it in concert and tenor size. I love it a lot. I love it a lot and I could count a hundred ways why I love these little ukuleles. One of the best ways is because of the fretboard markers. That might be a turnoff to many people. I'm thinking that many people don't love this ukulele because they think it's childish to have these fretboard markers like this. But anything that helps me play is fine with me and I don't care what anybody thinks about that. And I love the strings and they may change out the strings for the same reason. But if you change out these strings, please send them to me. <laughs> I would love to have them. I think these are one of the most special ukulele strings I've seen. I love the Inya Nova U uh, carb, uh, 
concert strings. But I love these a little better. I really like them. And it, the whole instrument gives me a, a feeling, including the strings, of milky smoothness. Man, and I like milky smoothness. That is sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, this ukulele cost me $70. Very sweet. <laughs> With gig bag, very nice strap. Hard to beat. 70 bucks. And if I ever sell it, don't worry, I will get at least $70 for it and probably a lot more. But I'm planning on keeping this one. I think it is swell. I am certainly keeping this one. So, what else did I get yesterday? Life is rich, <laughs> I must say. Understand, I've got, I'll show you a keyboard. But I want you to know that I've had several others of these, and eventually I sold them. My thought is, now, I'm not going to sell this one, but I might. I might find one in better condition later and sell this one and keep the other one or something like that. But this keyboard I purchased for $60. That came with, now I bought this on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I drove uh, 39 miles to pick it up. But that was a beautiful drive on a lovely day, no problem. I got a piano book. And that's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I can read that music. I got a Casio song book. Also very nice. I love it. I love it. So this is $25 right here in three song books. Look at this. Very nice. The fellow who sold me this keyboard said that he bought it 10 years ago in a pawn shop. So I imagine it's probably 15 or so years old, maybe older than that. London Bridge, Michael Rowe, the boat ashore. This is great. This is great. I love this. I can play this. Blow the man down. All my favorite songs. He never learned the keyboard. But I have learned it and I love it. So I got at least $25. Let's see how much he paid for this one. Yeah, okay, $30 worth of songbooks. We've got a, an adapter that Yamaha charges you for, so this is $15. we got $45 worth of stuff and haven't even looked at the keyboard yet. What does this keyboard do? <laughs> it does so much. I love these keyboards. Let me show you. So there it is. There it is. It's Casio LK92 TV. They also have several others of these. LK94, LK100. But what you want, at least what I wanted, I think these lighted keys are cool. I just like it. That's all. I just had to have that lighted key feature. I super love the microphone input. That's what really sold me on this years ago when I first saw it. Hello. Hello. On top of old Smokey. All covered with snow. And you can sing while you play 
and your voice and the music all together comes out these two speakers. Yes, it really does. That is amazing. You have Sing Along. So this is a karaoke machine. And you've got 65 Song Bank for Sing Along. And these are some of my very favorite songs, including Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Lightly Row, Lightly Row, and many more songs that uh, I can learn. You have got all these songs here that you can just play. Just push a button and play. Let's try one. Song Bank. Song Bank. Where are you? This is a piano bank. Song Bank is for sing-along. And we will just play this one. So, for $60, I got this keyboard and the uh, adapter and the songbooks. I am going to be super happy this Christmas. <laughs> and it starts on Christmas Eve. Thanks for watching.